Hello friends and welcome. Today we will see the experiment to study the effect of light intensity on photodiode. So in this experiment we will study what is photodiode. We will see the circuit diagram for photodiode. Okay. We will see the symbol of photodiode and finally we will take some readings and from the readings you will understand what is the effect of light intensity on photodiode. Okay. So friends for this experiment we are using this circuit diagram. So the circuit diagram is very simple. It only consists of a power supply a current limiting resistor and a photodiode and in order to measure the current flowing through photodiode we will need an ammeter okay you can also check voltage of photodiode but it is not needed okay so this is the symbol for photodiode if you look at this symbol you will find that it is similar to the normal pn junction diode only difference is this arrow so this arrow indicates that when light falls on this pn junction electron hole pairs are generated and current starts to flow through this diode okay so physically the diode will look like this generally it is dark in color but nowadays there are many photodiodes are available which are completely transparent uh, so if you are having dark color photodiode then the longer lead will indicate anode terminal and shorter lead will indicate cathode terminal okay so friends for this experiment we are using this experimental board if you want you can take snapshot of this this experimental board can be used to perform three experiments experiments on led experiments on normal pn junction diode and experiment on photodiode okay so today we are using this part okay so this is current limiting resistors of 220 ohm uh, remember one thing if you keep high value of this resistance what will happen when you are operating photodiode photodiode is operated in reverse bias so in reverse bias the current is very less and if your resistance value is very high what happens friend the current sometimes may be zero due to high value of resistance so this is the suitable value of current limiting resistor okay and from this side we will connect a dc supply of 10 volt okay if you want you can take any other value okay so let us start the experiment so friends in this experiment we will need this experimental board one dc power supply and one multimeter which is configured as emitter okay so let us do the connections photodiode is always operated in reverse bias so what we will do friends positive of the power supply we will connect to the negative of the board negative of the power supply is connected to positive of board okay like this then i will connect emitter okay like this and from these three diodes we right now we are using photodiode okay so i will connect photodiode like this so i will turn on this meter and i will put this meter in micro ampere mode because friends you know that the current flowing through photodiode is very very less so it is in the range of micro ampere so your meter should be in micro ampere if you put this in milli ampere you will get zero readings okay the setup is now ready let's turn on the power supply so friends you can see that i have set this power supply to fix 10 volt okay now we have to take the readings so from observation table you can see that friends our supply voltage is 10 volt now we are varying the intensity of light so for measuring the intensity of light you can use light intensity meter which is also known as lux meter because the intensity of light is measured in lux but right now we don't have any light intensity meter so i will write like this low intensity medium intensity high intensity and very high intensity okay and for all these settings we will measure the current flowing through photodiode okay so friends this is your photodiode okay so if you want the intensity to be low we can cover this photodiode with some non-transparent material so i have taken the cap of a pane so if you put cap on this photodiode what will happen friends no light will pass through the photodiode and intensity of light will be lowest okay so we will take the reading so friends now i am placing this cap over here so you can see friends the current flowing through photodiode is almost zero but it is not exactly zero so what you are getting 0 0.2 microampere we will note down this reading 
so friends you can see when intensity of light is very low which is almost zero the current flowing through photodiode is almost zero but it is not exactly zero so at this point the photodiode is completely in dark condition so this current is also called as dark current so the current flowing through photodiode when it is in dark it's called as dark current so in this experiment our dark current is 0.2 microampere okay now we have to increase the intensity of light and it should be minimum so friends now i am replacing this non transparent cap with a transparent cap so that some light will pass through the cap so as soon as i place this cap over the photodiode some light will pass through the cap and it will fall on the photodiode so you can see we are getting nearly 120 microampere current okay so this is happening because the photodiode is getting some amount of light through the transparent cap okay note down this reading so friends now you can see for medium light intensity we are getting 120 microampere current so you can see that as the light intensity is increasing current is also increasing now our next reading is at high intensity so friends what i will do i will remove this cap as soon as i remove this cap you can see that the current is again increasing so it is more than 160 microampere okay and you can see that the value of current is negative this is because our photodiode is operated in reverse bias so we will note down this reading so friends at high intensity you are getting 160 microampere current okay now our last reading is at very high light intensity okay so for this purpose we will need a light torch okay so friends for getting high intensity of light i am using this torch now as soon as i light up this photodiode you can see that the value of current is very high it the value of current is more than 2000 microampere nearly 3000 microampere okay so we will note down this reading so friends at high intensity of light very high intensity of light you are getting nearly 3000 microampere means 3 milliampere current you are getting so, okay so in this way you can conclude that if intensity of light goes on increasing the value of current flowing through the photodiode will also go on increasing okay so due to this property of photodiode which is it is generally used as a light sensor in cameras and other optical equipments okay now finally we will draw a graph which shows relation between intensity of light and current flowing through the photodiode you can use graph paper or you can simply draw on any normal paper okay and graph will look like this so friends now you can see that i have plotted the characteristics between light intensity and current okay so on y-axis we have taken photo current which is nothing but the current flowing through photodiode and on x-axis we have used light intensity okay so when light intensity was low very small amount of current was flowing through photodiode so this current is called as dark current okay so i have indicated here dark current okay and then as the light intensity go on increasing you can see that the value of photo current will also go on increasing okay so this is the experiment on photodiode okay so if you are having any doubts or difficulties please let me know in the comment section so friends i hope you have liked this experiment so if this is useful please like share and subscribe so have a nice day thank you